Let's talk about horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Now asymptotes are really very simple. And when you see the word asymptote, you should think there's some sort of limit involved. So a vertical asymptote, this means the limit as you approach some point from either the right is infinity or the limit as you approach some point from the left is infinity. Sorry, plus or minus infinity. And of course, the limit from the left could be plus or minus infinity, and the limit from the right could be plus or minus infinity. But all that we need for a vertical asymptote is one or the two. If this happens, we have a vertical asymptote at C. So we would have an asymptote at x equals c. Now how about a horizontal asymptote? Well that is related to the limit behavior as you go towards infinity. So you have a horizontal asymptote. If the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x is a constant, or the limit as you go to minus infinity of f of x is a constant. So let's look at some examples. We'll start out with the first very simple example, f of x equals 1 over x. Now this has two asymptotes. It has a horizontal one, as we can see here. Oh, that's not a good color. We have this horizontal asymptote right here. The limit of 1 over x, as x goes to infinity, this equals 0. This is a constant. And so we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So an asymptote at y equals 0, because that's the height of our horizontal asymptote. Now we also have a vertical asymptote. We notice this point 0 here, as we come from the left, we go up to positive infinity, as we come, sorry, as we go from, from the left, we go down to negative infinity, as we come from the right, we go up to positive infinity. That means we have a vertical asymptote right here. So we have the limit of 1 over x. As x goes to 0 from the right, that equals infinity. The limit of 1 over x, as x goes to 0 from the left, that equals minus infinity. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes they're really quite related. If you think about reflecting your graph across the line y equals x, your vertical asymptotes become horizontal asymptotes, and your horizontal asymptotes become vertical asymptotes. So let's look at another example. Here is the function f of x equals sine of x over x plus 3. Now the graph looks kind of like this. There's a big hump in the middle, and then the humps get shorter and shorter and shorter. So does this have any asymptotes? Well, the function value never gets anywhere near plus or minus infinity, so we have no vertical asymptotes. No vertical asymptotes. But as we look, as we go to the left and the right, we have a horizontal asymptote, because we get closer and closer and closer to this y value. So the limit of sine of x, oops, sine of x over x plus 3, as x goes to infinity, well that's 3. And the limit of sine of x over x plus 3, as x goes to minus infinity, that's also 3. So 
So we have a horizontal asymptote. at y equals 3. Now you notice this graph crosses the asymptote many, many times. You're allowed to cross an asymptote as much as you like. What an asymptote means is the limiting behavior. So here, even though we're crossing above and below and above and below the line y equals 3, as we get closer and closer and closer to infinity, we look more and more like the line y equals 3. And in this example, it happens both to the right towards positive infinity and to the left towards negative infinity. So let's look at one more example. Here's the graph of f of x equals natural log of x. Now, we see some behavior towards infinity. Well, to the right, as we approach to the right, well, let's first notice the left. The whole graph is undefined. But we notice that right at x equals 0, there's something special happening. The limit, if we approach from the right where the function is defined, so the limit of natural log of x, as x approaches 0 from the right, this is minus infinity. This means we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. It doesn't matter that nothing's happening to the left. Just one of the side limits has to be infinite in order to have a vertical asymptote. Now, do we have a horizontal asymptote? Well, the limit as x approaches, well, minus infinity of natural log of x, this is undefined. The function isn't even defined there. The limit as we approach, sorry, that was negative infinity. The limit as we approach positive infinity of natural log of x, well, this is infinity. We don't approach a constant. Even though it looks like log gets uh, more and more like a horizontal line, we don't actually approach a constant. So we have no horizontal asymptote, only a vertical asymptote. So no horizontal asymptote.